Hey YouTube, how are you doing? My name is Red Eye, everyone's favorite goblin. Welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, last episode, or the last couple of episodes anyway, we have, um, been... Wait, map. That's the map. Uh, we were, uh, helping Nil kill some bandits and dealing with, um, our war chief. I think I want to do this cauldron today because it's it's basically there and then I don't really know where to go after that <laughs> um uh cauldron there we go yeah we want to do this cauldron which is Oh, it's not showing us because we are on... We're not on a road. I'm gonna hijack one of these striders. Oh boy. Yeah, this one. This one right here. And then we'll have a horse. Okay, to the cauldron. So the reason I want to do the cauldron is because it will give us um, the ability to override different... different uh, types of machines. So, like, at the moment, we can only override uh, Watchers, Striders, and something else? It might not even be something else. It might just be Watchers and Striders. Um, and this cauldron will basically add to the uh, the list. of things that we can override, which is really helpful. This must be the cauldron Drow was talking about. There's gotta be a way, somehow. If I'm not mistaken. I think this cauldron adds, um, grazers to my list it's like grazers and something else there's like three three things in each cauldron Trying to explain myself while fighting is not really going so well, so uh let me let me tackle these and then we'll talk more about cauldrons and why they're so good. Okay. Um so yeah. Wait. Does it actually tell me? No, I don't think it does. I think, yeah, okay. So it says on the actual... So like right now I can override Watchers and I can override Striders. I think that's all I can override right now. Um, this Sigma Cauldron that we're about to do will give me Grazers, it will give me Scrappers, and it will give me Sawtooths, which is kind of cool. At least I think this is Sigma, yeah, this is a Sigma Cauldron. 
I'm in the right place. So we're going to wait for this scrapper to walk up to us and then we're going to stab it. Like that. I mean, okay, it didn't really walk up to us. We walked up to it, but, you know, still. The end result is what counts. Not bad. I'm wondering if I should refill my medicine pouch before I go in there. I probably should. Let's go gather us some more healing herbs. So much for being careful. It doesn't really make sense to go into uh, a dangerous location with uh, less healing than I could potentially have by just spending a couple of minutes wandering around outside. Oh, hey, there's a save point here. We should, uh... We should really use this. Just in case. Well. Hello. You there. I hope you've come to help. Because we're getting slaughtered out here. Thank Hi. The sun. You look like a fighter, and that's just what we need. My bung brain boss gave us the wrong crate of ammo. It was oh, no. ammunition, but stuffed with Ridgewood. Without that ammo, we're struggling to fend off watchers. And worse. I'll do what I can to help. Glad to hear it. We need all the... Alarm! Long leg approaching! A long leg? Oh, they're the burps. Right. Ow, that hurt. Almost dead. The uh, the fire thing's not really helping me here. the fact that there was a watcher like turning on me from behind <laughs> can you not see I'm busy sir Okay. Ow. The hell was that? Oh, these are red eye watchers. Okay. Are you quite finished?
Oh, you guys really suck at fighting. Let's just let's lit all of the things. Are you still getting attacked, sir? Just, just hit it! Hit it with a stick! Well, now our uh, medical supplies are even worse than before. before but none like you, Outlander. You saved our asses. Boss! The song cores are gone! The what's? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. Who's Dereed? The first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He what's the song core? True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Then I'll give you that. Bring those song cores back and you'll get a share. I, we can do that. After we fill up our medicine pouch again, this time without triggering any side quests. Shock wax root. Medicinal herb. Corruption glaze root doesn't really help me right now. Ooh, dead machines. This is a shock wax root, okay. Ridgewood, 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 medicinal herb, salve brush. Wild ember. Shock wax. Dead Watcher, Ridgewood, Wild Ember, Stocking up. Kind of curious as to what these uh, herbs are actually based on, or if they are like entirely fictitious. Because like most of the rest of this game has like its roots in in an actual you know real world. Because like the entire setting is somewhere in the states. I remember looking up and I can't remember what I, what the answer was to that question, but. You guys fighting again? I hear fighting noises. I don't see any machines around. Okay, we're actually going into the cauldron this time. Only 
Open sesame. There we go. That's how you open it. These places are really cool. I was supposed to repel down that. No one saw that. Yeah, the the uh, the cauldron environments are probably like some of the the coolest in the entire game that I've seen so far. I think these places are supposed to be, I mean, look at that. It's so cool. Um, I think these places are supposed to be like the production facilities for the machines. Um, I don't know if it's this one or the next one. that you actually like see the machines being assembled in. It might be both actually. But there are some definite There are uh, there's some definite production line aesthetics going on. Why didn't that sneak attack you? Like, I mean, if this isn't a production line, I don't know what is. It's also really interesting to see the, the contrast between like the outside world which is obviously natural looking and then you have like the sharp corners and angles of the the cauldrons Maybe I didn't need to worry about my health edge so much. Oh, it's a ladder. And then a claimy shimmy bar thing. I don't think there's anything else here. Gap. No, but we're gonna override it. It's a bridge. Spoiler alert. Yeah, there, there's definite production line aesthetics going on in here. I'm kind of curious as to why these aren't more heavily guarded. 
Unless the machines have assumed that nobody would be audacious enough to like either try and attack one of their these cauldrons or try and infiltrate them. I don't know. Maybe they were more heavily guarded. Like back in the long, long ago. And over time, when like there's not been threats to them, they've pulled out the machines that would have been. Yeah, that would have been guarding the uh, the cauldrons have been like reassigned elsewhere where they were still needed. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Nope, no regrets. We. We're gonna have to drop off here soon before we get uh, hunted through a, a metal door or a, a um, force field. Think. I've got as far as this thing will take me. Oh, okay, it automatically drops us off. That's helpful. Is this the one where I go down? Uh, yeah, it is. I think it is. I think I go down. No, maybe not. Do I go up this side? Doesn't appear that way. Okay. Maybe this is what we do. We're just gonna quietly sneak around. I say as I'm immediately spotted by a watcher. That's a lot of uh It's a lot of watchers. Come on, step forward a little bit. Come on, turn around. Turn around. Oh, I guess they're not coming to me. Well, I guess I'll just have to take the fight to them. How do I get up there? Must be our way. Oh yeah, there's, there's a ramp over there.
Oh, that's a shell walker. These things really hurt. Oops. <laughs> I was not paying attention to where I was going. Well, it wouldn't be a red eye video if we didn't like accidentally die half a dozen times. Okay, let's try that again, but maybe with a little bit more stealth. And a one dead watcher. I don't even know if I can, like, stealth attack shellwalkers yet. I'm not sure if I have the technology. Turn around, don't turn around. here. I don't know if I can actually beat the shell walker in a fight right now. No, no, we blew up its carry thing, damn it. Okay, we killed it. It was not particularly good. That went really badly. Um, I would have liked to have, uh, like, shot the case off its back, because those things have loot in them. But, uh, hey, you know, we're alive, it's not. There are, there are other problems we could have right now. It 
This, I believe, is a fabrication device. Or is this... No, I think this is melting metal. I think this is a furnace. This is a really fancy furnace. Because the... That thing up top basically spits out metal shards. And I think that's supposed to be... Yeah, you can see it there. And then I think that's some sort of like fancy induction furnace thing. I don't think we can get there. And if I try and we die, I think I'd have to redo the fight that we've just done and I don't really feel up to that. But it's fine. We'll be okay. There are other cauldrons. Sweet. Healing mushrooms. Great Omen is such a foreboding name. It's like, yeah, let me just eat a handful of this Great Omen. To heal myself. Wee zipline. Okay, so we override this. It makes a bridge for us. We're heading there. That's the fabrication device. I knew there's a fabrication device somewhere. Geronimo! Imagine if she missed that, um, the hook. At least she wouldn't have long to suffer, given that she literally, like, threw herself off the side at high velocity. High velocity, high speed, same, almost the same difference. So this is uh, building a bellow back. It's a giant 3D printer. If I remember rightly, we have to hack the uh, the pylons around the outside. This cauldron may or may not be the reason I hate bellow backs. The, uh, the watchers are really easy to take out. Like, watchers in general are very easy to take out as long as you're sort of accurate with the bow. Because you just shoot them in the eye and they die. I mean, that, that's true for a lot of things, actually. And then once we override all of these, I think it turns the, uh, the power off. might not even have to uh...
Thanks for holding still long enough for me to shoot you. If we cause enough damage to the uh, the sack on its back, it explodes, uh, which is what I'm aiming for. type of ammo for this, if I'm honest. Did not also mean to explode me. Yeah, you don't look so good, sir. have that many options left anymore. Yay, we killed it. Ooh, a plus 38% shock coil. Oh, I don't have any modification slots left. Um, can I make a bigger mod bag? Yes, I can. There we go. And now we just override this. And... Viola. skill points, we leveled up. Two skill points left, huh? Yeah, I'm kind of still saving up for stuff. Now we're going to override scrappers, grazers, sawtooths, and lancehorns. What the hell is a lancehorn? Oh. I think I think a lancehorn is um, 
sort of like a grazer, but its its horns are pointed forwards instead of out to the side. It's more of a um, it's more gazelle like than the the grazers that are like deer esque. Okay, save. So what other quests do we currently have? Uh, we could find the reed. We did go to day tower, which is quite a way away. To find John, was that not near where we were going anyway? Oh, that's way down there. Were we not supposed to be going around here somewhere anyway? What's that icon? Corrupted zone. Okay, yeah, we're, we're heading this way anyway, so we'll, we'll probably do that corrupted zone. Okay, we're going this way. Yeah, I figure we'll do the corrupted zone on the way to uh, the war chief. I kind of want to find a sawtooth. I do know where one spawns, like there's always one that spawns in uh, the city nearby. Actually, do we not have a quest to go to Devil's Thirst? Got the four boar skins. Yeah, we do. Let's go. Gonna get us a solid fucking tooth. I don't think we can ride the sawtooths. I think they're just, uh, like combat pets. Okay, so there's a sawtooth that spawns near here. There it is. One sawtooth. Oh, that's why there's always a sawtooth here. It's because of this quest. I know how to override a sawtooth. I can get in close. Oh my, there's two. Hi, you belong to me now. Wow. Okay, that that guy slaps. Uh, where are the Braves? I think 
they are like the upper level of yeah they're up there how do i get up there Actually, do I need to go up there? Yeah, I think I do. Oh, I need to kill this sawtooth too. I had to kill both of the sawtooths. Your friend Den told me to come find you. Why are you up there? Because there were two sawtooths here. From us. Uh, uh, me. Us. Without weapons, this was the best we could manage. Thank you so much for destroying it. Now we can get home. One thing. You won't tell anyone you saw us here, will you? Saw I nothing. Didn't. At least, not your friend. Need any help getting down? We'll go back on our own. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Maybe we shouldn't be seen with you, or they might figure us out. Wow. Thanks. Okay, well that is going to do it for this episode. Because we are slightly over time. Anyway, thank you all very much for joining us. As always, my name is Red Eye, everyone's favorite goblin. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn. Hope you all have fantastic days, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.